Hi, I'm Jennifer Maxwell, founder of Real Education for Dignity, Red Liberia for short, or Menstrual Health Initiative. I'm also a student at Molenberg College in Allentown, Pennsylvania, where I study business with emphasis in marketing and minors in innovations and entrepreneurship and women and gender studies. I was invited here today by J1 Akwe. Thank you so much, J1, for inviting me to this all important um, event. And I hope that as we discuss this topic I was assigned to, um, social enterprise, that we will learn from each other as it was exciting um, learning a lot more about um, this concept um, more. So yeah, not to take any more of your time, I would like to ask that you send in your questions after this presentation or you could even send them in during the presentation and I will be glad to um, address them. Um, you can refer the questions to either G1 or G1 might share with you my contact so that you could reach out to me um, individually um, and I'll be glad to answer all of your burning questions. So now, the topic to discuss is social enterprise. But before we go into um, this presentation, I would like to ask you, what is social enterprise for you or when you hear the phrase social enterprise what comes to mind so for me when i hear social enterprise first of all i think of social as group community or society as a whole and enterprise as either a business organization or um, a company or something of this sort of venture. So together it could be a community venture, social enterprise, a society business, social enterprise, a business that concerns the society, social enterprise. Um, I hope you get the concept of what I'm trying to say so that when you hear the word, you cannot just, oh, it's a big word, you know, I'm just trying to, um, um, make it as simple as possible. So, um, according to other this dictionary, at least I have one definition, and it says social enterprise takes the principles of entrepreneurship to find sustainable solutions to social problems. So now, in this short sentence, where there is, they are telling us that this this thing we call social enterprise takes the principle of the principle of entrepreneurship. So now you might you might you might think you might think to yourself, um, what do they mean by it takes the the principle of entrepreneurship? In fact, what is entrepreneurship? Just in case you don't know what that is, it's simply um, the process of an individual group um, taking a risk to um, create solution for, to a problem with hopes of um getting profit that's entrepreneurship so now they say that um social enterprise takes the principle of entrepreneurship to find sustainable solution that's another uh concept so you you might also be thinking what what they mean by to find sustainable solution i mean when when i think about so sustainability or um or the word sustainable i think about maintenance or something being able to be taken care of, take care to take care of something to be taken care of um without extended like extender um, um forces so that's um to me or at least i would say is sustainability or sustainable solution but then this solution that um, might not need any uh, or might need less like way less um support or extender support to solve this social problem. So now putting it together, social entrepreneurship takes risks to be able to find um, suitable solution or solution that can take care of themselves to a problem. Um, but I mean, that's just one way to put it. 
a lot of um, there are so, there are multiple ways that we could put that but i was just trying to see if i could help um break down the definition just a little bit i hope i did, i hope i don't confuse you i hope you can also go and do your own research after this presentation or you could come to me for us to discuss further so yeah so when i came across this definition it reminded me of my own social ventures that i've been um undertaking for at least almost two years now since 2019. 2019 i realized that um in my community painesville um to be specific duporo zuba town um a lot of girls lack menstrual um menstrual health education or menstrual education and that was not the only problem they also lacked sufficient um menstrual product during their menses so it was a really sad finding however i team up with a group of other friends for us to solve this problem and one of our solutions were um to provide education around it through workshops training or seminars and that was fine but then when it came to us you know providing products my first thought was oh i could get um disposable products from other organizations or businesses you know that that would donate to us so that we can donate to these girls that wanted because mind you we did not have like the physical cash to um help these girls so we had to come up with ideas however when we first talked about um or thought about the disposable product we thought to ourselves way what would this mean and personally i felt oh I mean, it's a good thing I use always, at least for now, not not now, but during that time, that was what I was telling myself. I use always and um, at least I use about one pack and a, one and a half pack of the, um, the menstrual product because some months I went full five days and I needed more packs. So, yeah. So calculating that, I knew that it was not... Um, sustainable for the girls because not every time we would have gotten the donation so that's where we we come now to the whole sustainable solution so we thought about how what was what what product that we were going to provide to these girls that were going to that was going to be um sustainable so we then we realized that there was something else um or other menstrual product that we were not aware of which was reusable menstrual pad which is a cloth pad that absorbs just as the um, disposable pad. However, it, it stays longer, more um, environmental friendly um, and more sustainable because you just have to make sure you take care of them, wash them properly. And it takes you for over a year or two. One, one of it goes, I mean, based on how you use, it, use them and how many you have, it goes for between two to four years. So now um that was what we thought we thought about but then that was not the only reason why we didn't just think about sustainability we talked about um we we we, we, we um talk about the environment we were like okay if we use more disposable pads even though it's not so we cannot um, sustain the, the 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 distribution to the girls however we also don't want to harm our environment because um as we as we all know global warming is real um and we were trying to not cause um another problem while solving you know one so that was our idea and that that was how red came, red liberia came about to create um education around menstrual health menstrual hygiene while at the same time um encouraging girls to adapt to other sustainable menstrual products so as a social entrepreneur when you are starting a venture or social enterprise you should definitely think thoroughly through your solutions ask yourself is this solution that i'm trying to uh, um, give it will it 
solve a problem yes and if it solves a, a problem will it um create another like you have to like ask yourself and if it turns out that it's actually solving the problem uh and in the long term or not create it, it wouldn't create like a a greater like effect then you can go ahead with it that's just my my take on it so um as you go about your normal days even in your everyday life you have to like ask yourself those type of questions before you make decisions so as to help you um know what to expect when things go south that's all i can say so um that's just um a little bit about social entre uh, enterprise and um social entrepreneurship as a whole so i hope you have your questions and i hope you send them to jiwon so that she reached out to me um to discuss further all right have a great day bye